Here is Bobby Kennedy in 1968, celebrating the greatest victory of his political career in Los Angeles at the Ambassador Hotel on the night that he won the California Democratic presidential primary. I want to thank uh, Cesar Chavez, who was, was here a little earlier. And, uh, and Bert Corona, who also worked with him, and all of those Mexican-Americans who were such uh, supporters of mine. And Dolores Huerta, who is an old friend of mine and has worked with the union, to thank her and tell her how much I appreciate her coming tonight. Minutes later, an assassin shot and killed Bobby Kennedy as he was leaving the hotel ballroom. No one in that room that night has done more to advance the kind of social progress and social justice that Bobby Kennedy was talking about in his presidential campaign than Dolores Huerta, who is now 89 years old and still at it. It all began when she was 25 years old, when she helped create a community service organization in her hometown of Stockton, California. In 1960, she co-founded the Agricultural Workers Association. And in 1962, she co-founded with Cesar Chavez the National Farm Workers Association. She was the first recipient in 1998 of the Eleanor Roosevelt Award for Human Rights from President Bill Clinton. Four elementary schools and one middle school in California are named after Dolores Huerta. So is one elementary school in Texas and a high school in Colorado. President Barack Obama gave Dolores Huerta the Medal of Honor in 2012. When Cesar Chavez sat uh, Dolores Huerta down at his kitchen table and told her they should start a union, she thought he was joking. Uh, she was a single mother of seven children, so she obviously didn't have a lot of free time. But Dolores had been an elementary school teacher and remembered seeing children come to school hungry and without shoes, so in the end she agreed. And workers everywhere are glad that she did. Without any negotiating experience, Dolores helped lead a worldwide grape boycott that forced growers to agree to some of the country's first farm worker contracts. And ever since, she has fought to give more people a seat at the table. Don't wait to be invited, she says. Step in there. Uh, and on a personal note, uh, Dolores was uh, very gracious uh, when I told her I had stolen her slogan, uh, Si se puede, yes we can. Dolores Huerta has never lost faith in the power of community organizing. And through the Dolores Huerta Foundation, she continues to train and mentor new activists to walk the streets into history. The always busy Dolores Huerta just left an event in San Francisco at City Hall where she was introducing Nancy Pelosi and making her way out of that event took so long with so many people uh, trying to talk to her that we are going to be able to reach her only in the car on the way to the TV studio where she was going to join us. We're going to reach uh, Dolores by phone in that car and joining us now is Dolores Huerta, the co-founder of the United Farm Workers and founder of the Dolores Huerta Foundation. Dolores, thank you very much for joining us uh, tonight uh, by phone, and we'll get you on camera next time. All right. Thank you very much, Larry. It's so wonderful to see you. Uh, it's great to hear your voice. Uh, so I, tell us, the audience, why you got arrested uh, once again this week, uh, this time in Fresno. Well, I was there with home care workers uh, who are not getting a living wage. They have been trying for three years to get a contract with the Fresno County Board of Supervisors. And in their last negotiations, they offered them 10 cents, a 10 cent raise. And they do such hard work caring people that are disabled, taking care of people that are seniors. They have to cook for them. They have to bathe them. They have to be with them 24-7. And to think that the Board of Supervisors would not even give them any kind of a living wage. They were only asking for a dollar an hour increase. And it is outrageous that these supervisors who make over $100,000 a year in their salaries would not give these home care workers a, 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 any kind of a wage. They've been 
negotiating for three years and could not get a contract. So uh, the workers decided to get arrested. And initially, I was not going to get arrested, but uh, one of the uh, deputy sheriffs uh, uh, grabbed one of the leader of that union, Arnulfo de la Cruz, who my boss since he was a young man, grabbed him by the neck and started choking him. And I just got so outraged and so angry, not only at the way that these home care workers are treated, but the way that they were physically assaulting uh, the leader of the union. So uh, when it came to time to get arrested, I said, I'm going to also get arrested with them. And it's a shame that workers have to go to these lengths uh, to get their voices heard, uh, to make people do the right thing. And, you know, it's uh, if, if by taking care of people in their homes, these home care workers are actually saving the county over $55,000 a year, but they are not respected. And so many of these home care workers, uh, you know, they're people of color, uh, they, they're ex-farm workers, they're, they're people that need to be respected. And, you know, I think, Larry, and I know you're there, you've always been there. But the working people of our country need to be respected. They need to be getting paid a living wage. And we've got to erase the inequity that we have in terms of income wages in our country. Uh, Dolores, we only have about a minute left. And I, I just want to get from you to our viewers how you deal with the frustration, how you deal with the discouragement uh, when things don't go your way, and how you've just been able to keep at it despite uh, discouragement and setbacks along the way. Well, as an organizer, Larry, you know, we know that everything that's happening in our country right now, that we've all got to move to action. We've all, we've all got to become activists. We've all got to stand up, and we've got to get involved because we can't make our country any better unless we are the ones that do it. Nobody's going to do it for us. And But, but everyone thinks that, and then when they suffer a few setbacks in activism or they, their candidate loses, uh, it's very easy for people to get discouraged. What do you say to them? Well, we can't afford to get discouraged, as Caesar Chavez used to say, the only time that we lose is when we quit. And that is what the CSEP weather slogan is about. It's about our individual commitment to action and about our collective uh, commitment to action. And we know that if we keep on working, and as Pablo Neruda said, the, the Chilean poet said, they can cut all the flowers, but they can't hold back the spring. And we are the spring. We are the gardeners that have to sow the seeds of justice. And they will bloom. They will flourish. And we will make it happen. Dolores Huerta gets tonight's last word. Dolores, thank you very much for joining us tonight. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on the button below for more from the last word and the rest of MSNBC.